the best of your ability. Because like I said, if you if you try to keep these laws without the most high in his son, mainly Yahweh Shai, he would have put the nation of Israel to death, wiped us out according to the law. Alright? From all things from which he could not be justified by the law of Moses. Yeah, because we couldn't keep it. That's why he had to send his son. We couldn't keep it. That's why we, man. I say, all right. Keep going. Yeah, nobody on this planet, nobody out of the Negro, Latino, the Native American can keep them laws 100%. It's 613 laws. That's why you keep them by faith, the best of your ability. That's why. And believe it on the most high and his son. Read. Beware, therefore, lest they come upon you, which is spoken of in the prophets. The curses, being put to death, being wiped out. Without the Lord coming, man. Why well, I say, man, you people don't know the scripture. But they'll put that up, saying that's pertaining to the so-called white man. Or they'll say, we're not up under the law no more. If the law not in effect, how? Why, why is the Lord coming to destroy America? Explain that. What is he coming to save uh, the Negro, Latino, and Native Americans from? If the law not in effect. If we not under the law. That's why I say, man, if we ain't under the law, man, you might as well go on, be a pedophile, a murderer, a thief. Go on, be all that. If you're not under the law, if something in you won't let you go out and pop a little boy in the ass. Because your ass under the law. The law was done away with. Go on, start. Go rape your own kids, man. If the law done away with, you know, go man. have sex with a horse, man. You supposed to keep the law the best, best of your ability. ability through faith. If faith is a <laughs> gift, it's a gift from the Most High in His Son. You just don't have it. The Most High has to give you that. That's why you understand. The and that's why these people say the laws are done away with, because they don't have no faith in the Most High Word. They say, I love Jesus, I love this, but the, the love is keeping the commandments according to the Bible. And then if you tell them that, oh, that don't matter. All I got to do is believe. All right, faith without works is dead. Most High going to put you to death, because you don't have the works, meaning keeping the law, and then you don't have the faith. All right. Second John, I mean, Second John 6, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. Like I said, this dumb nigga to Zion, I put up the scriptures, love thy brother, but at the same time, he'll say the law is done away with. We not up under the law of Moses. Damn. That brotherly love is what? That's the law, ain't it? Man, this nigga, man. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh -oh, man. It says, this is uh, Acts 13 and 41. Behold, ye despisers and wonder and perish. And I work a work in your days and work which ye shall in no wise believe. Yeah, because all Israel was going to fall away. And the Most High is gathering Israel right back. Now, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, I was shot. That's the work that you weren't going to believe. And it's happening right before your face. You see? Though a man declared it unto you. See? Wow, man. But yes, yes, he'll put that scripture up and say, we not up under the law. We not up, up under the law of the Moses. It's got him right, man. I'm talking about two Zion. And that nigga Yashawan, uh, aka uh, Splinter Yoshawan. You know, it's like, he'd be agreeing with these dudes, because he might say, oh, I got 20 years in it. And it's like you agreeing with everybody that said they ain't dealing with GMS. Yep. It ain't about the word, you just mad at the men. And then you ain't coming in the defense of your whole body shooting out with shot. You're yeah. defending yourself. You're not defending y'all by shooting out a shot. That's why he gonna kill you. Cause when you hear the elders talk about it, them, them men were all together back in the day, so whatever stories they got, they ought to know, man. They ought to know. And that's why, man, and that's why, man, another thing too, man, I don't get too close to people, man, because
because I know any little thing you tell them, they'll try to use that against you to their advantage. You see, that's why he can't speak on nothing too much about me because I didn't get too close to him because I know how Jake is. I know they'll flip on you. And you'll hit them with something, you'll tell them something, and say, I'm finna see how fast this nigga spread this shit. Just to see if you can tell him some more. And what he do? Run his mouth. So you know you gotta talk to him like he the police. I don't know nothing. That's how you gotta do. I don't know nothing. You see? Alright. Romans 7 to 16. If then I do, I do that which I would not. I consent unto the law that is it that it is good. Mm -hmm. The law is good. The most high, the most high laws are good, man. You see? But you'll say they done away with it. Oh man. Romans 7 and 16. If then I do that which I would not, I consent unto the law that it is good. Mm -hmm. Now then it is no more that I do it. Right. But sin that dwelleth in me. Yeah, because that sin, man, in our body, man, won't let us keep them laws 100%. That's why we needed a Savior, man, which is the Lord. That's what Paul telling you. Finish, finish that off up in there. Uh, uh, seven, and, uh, what you at? seven and 18. Right. Four. For I know Romans, that, yeah, Romans 7 and 18. Right. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwell of no good thing. See, even Paul telling you, this flesh ain't no good. That's why we need his Savior, which is your house. Because he kept the law perfect. And you both keep the law by faith. And coming out here and teaching and warning Israel what they supposed to do and what they not supposed to do. For to will is present with me, but how to perform that which is good I find not. Which is the law. Alright. For the good that I would I do not, but the evil which I would not that I do. See? Because of this, this fleshly body. Paul couldn't, Paul couldn't keep it. That's why he needed to save it. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more that I do it, mm -hmm. but sin that dwelleth in me, I find then a law, that when I would do good, evil is present with me. Yeah. For I delight in the law of God after the inward man, but I see another law in my members, warning against the law of my mind. Yeah. So Paul, basically Paul was telling you, look, he's fighting in the flesh, man. He fight. He fight. He wanna, he wanna do it, but he couldn't. But I see another law in my members, warring against me, the law of my mind, and bringing me into captivity of the law of sin, see? which is in my members, see? which is in his body.
know why it's not Jewish. What does the word Jewish mean? What does the word Jewish mean? What does the word Jewish mean? Well, it's part of the tribe. No, 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 no. The word Jewish, that, 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 uh, that ish on the end is the suffix being pertaining to. That's why they call itself Jewish. The word Jew comes derived from the word uh, Judah. Which is, a, which is a, which is yes. which which is a so-called African American. Your your I wife is, is, is your wife. What is your wife called? What is your wife called? His name. I mean, his nationality. Name was, oh, nationality. According to the Bible. He was, well, he was a Russian. That's what I'm saying. Uh, That's exactly what I'm saying. Now the Russian. Now you had so-called black people ruling Russia. You can go on Google icon and type in Russian icon, and you can see all the black icons. Biggest day. I want, now, I now want I'm telling you right now. I want I'm telling you what, what is the white man according to the Bible? What's his nationality? See, get on down the street, man. We bringing this out. Okay, get on down. This okay, ain't okay. You, you uh, going to the you? America gonna be destroyed. You're not no Jew. You're, you're no, white, not no, no, no Jew. I'm telling you right now, you are Edomite according to the Bible. You are Esau. And this is not the Lord. He never looked like this according to the Bible. This is Caesar Borgir, second son of Alexander the Pope. According to the Bible, the Lord is a black man. According to the Bible, in Jeremiah 14 well, and 1, the real Jews are black. It tells you that. Get this. Jeremiah 14 and 1. You could Solomon, exactly Solomon right. was a Solomon was a Jew. He was a black man pursuing the song, uh, uh, songs of Solomon, uh, chapter 1, verse 6. So the Jews are black. They not white. They don't have leprosy. Read. 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 Jeremiah 14, 2. Judah morning. Judah morning. Who in morning? The Negroes in morning right now. They don't got nothing as a people. They are, they are, they are, uh, 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 first fire in the last hire. Okay? They don't have nothing. They've been in slavery in America for 500 years, built up this country, and they don't have nothing. The so-called Jew, Jewish people, they own everything. They stole that land in 1949. That's how they got in that land, and the Rothschilds put them in that land, okay? Interesting. Now, now, according to the Bible, when the Lord, when the Lord put the real Israelites in that land, it's going to be peace on the earth. They warn over there. Brother, so you don't know brother, what you're talking about. Read, 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 read. And the gates there are linguists. The gates there are linguists. Meaning the leaders of the so-called Negroes are weak. They call themselves African American, and African American is two white men. That's not even their nationality. Scatterbrain. You're an Edomite and you're going in slavery, but during the Revelation uh, 13, 9, and 10. Read. To the morning, and the gates there are linguists. They are black into the ground. They are black. The real Jews are black. And it's a ground, meaning they in a low state. Give me Sons of Solomon 1 and 6. Stupid, man. This is my man. Oh, damn, man, I can't wait to move. Sons of Solomon 1 and 6. Look upon me because I am black. What? Look upon me because I am black. That's Solomon. He was a Jew. He was from the tribe of Judah. Read that again. This is uh, Psalms of Solomon, one and one. Right. The songs the, of songs, which is Solomon's. Right. Verse six, look not upon me because I am black. Look not upon me because I am black. Because the son have looked upon me. My mother's children were angry with me and they made me keeper of the vineyards, but my own, my own vineyard have I not kept. I said on that, but the point is, man, that the real Jews are black, and they are look at this and say that that it is a white man. That's Caesar Bossier. Have you ever heard about the Renaissance, man? Mean the rebirth? That's a French word. Have you ever read up on that? These goddamn white folks be lying so damn so-called white people be lying so damn much, man. But you two third that nigga run up behind these motherfuckers, man. <laughs> oh, I got a word for it. Oh, man. God what you say, damn. What you said he's running up. Running up with him. Proverbs. He don't even, he didn't even know what he, who Esau was. He didn't even know what the word Jewish meant. And then he gonna say, my wife and her father was a Russian Jew. We rule, we rule Russia. Go on Google's icons, man. And rule, uh, and type in uh, Russian icons, man. I mean, go on Google images. And 
black man Russian icon. You don't see all the black icons. And I got a book that show all them icons and they show you in there. I got a book. I can't remember the title of it, but I got it. Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. The seed of the righteous is the nation of Israel. The wicked is a so-called white man. So it don't matter if you join your hands with him. The Moabite gonna destroy him and he gonna destroy you that join with him. Only the righteous out of there through the spirit of the Most High. Which is, hey, no pictures. No pictures. No pictures of uh, 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 Ephraim. See, that's Ephraim, Ephraim over there. Or uh, Issachar. That's Ephraim, Ephraim and Issachar over there. Which you're from the tribe, you from, you're an Israelite, which you don't even know. Walking with a hand mic. You don't even know you're an Israelite, but you're an Israelite. We teaching about your hair, which you don't even know. That's the two thirds, man. All right. Back to Romans 10 and four. Well, we was really interrupted by that devil. Say, man, we were sowing, we were sowing seed. There it is, and the devil would jump up and disrupt whoever would listen. Uh, Mark 4 and 15. No, we got to up. Mark, this is uh, Romans 10 and 4. Right. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness. Like that was saying, the uh, reason why it's saying that because that's talking about the, the, uh, the uh, Israel being put to death. That's what that's talking about. Okay? All right, but you're supposed to keep it to the best of your ability because according to the scriptures, all Israel will be put to death. If we were going straight, if we had to keep the law individually as a nation, we all be wiped out. We'll all be dead. Okay. You see? All right. For Christ is the end of the law. But like for I said, you keep it to the best of your ability through the Spirit. All right. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believes it. For Moses is scribing the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth those things shall believe in them. Right. But the righteousness which is of faith speaketh on the wise. This wise. Say not in thy heart, who shall ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down from above. Or who shall descend into the deep? Question. This is to bring up a Masiach again from the dead. But what saith it? Question. The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth, and even in thy heart. And this is the word of faith which we preach. That's right. That's the word of faith, man. You're supposed to keep it by faith, man. Keep the laws by faith. But like I said, man, that dude will put up them scriptures, don't understand the scriptures, and they'll say the law done away with. That's why I said, man, if you, if you, if you call yourself in the truth, break down Romans, the sixth chapter, and break down Romans, the seventh chapter, the whole chapter, precept by precept. Break it down. Alright? Galatians 5 and 18. Right. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Right. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envy, uh, murders, 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 drunkenness, reveling, and such like of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. So all them things that he just named, that's gonna get you put to death, man. If you don't keep the law by faith. You see? Start it starts from the uh talk again. This is Galatians 5 and 18. Right. But if ye be led of the spirit. But if ye be led of the spirit, because this truth is spiritual. If you ain't got the spirit of the most high on you, you're out of there. Okay? I can read. Ye are not under the law. Ye are not under the law. Meaning being put to death. That's going back to that, that's going back to that death sentence, man. That's why you're supposed to keep it by faith. That's why the Lord came. Okay? That's why he came. Alright. Now the works of the flesh are manifest. Mm -hmm. Which are these things? Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft. Hatred, barriers, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, 
envying, murder, drunk, reveling, and such like of which I tell you before as I have told you in times past. Yeah, because all them things, if you don't keep the law by faith, you are not under the grace of Yahweh Shem Yahweh You're not. So you keep them by faith. So all them things that that uh that you would do in this world, you'll end up getting put to death because you don't have that faith and keeping the law to the best of your ability. Okay? Right. That they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. That's in the Bible. But two-thirds of our people would tell you the law is done away with.
if you love your brother, love the law the same way. These two are the same. Like I say, man, that two Zion nigga, man, he don't know. He don't know the Bible, all right? Like I said, he just throw up them scriptures for the two-thirds, and they looking at him like, wow, this dude really throwing up scriptures, but you go on his page, he don't bring out no precepts. That's why his title says, no precepts. All right. James 2 and 8. Right. This is another scripture he put up. If he fulfilled the royal law, according to the scripture, According to the scripture, okay. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well. But he'll put this up and say, we're not up under the law. See that again, man, that's funny. James 2 and 8. If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, right. ye do well. And then, and then, he throws so many, and he throws so many comments, man. Which we are defending y'all by shooting out shot because he's butchering the scripture. We're not defending ourselves. We're defending the both sides of this site. Okay? According to the scripture. Now he will put them up. Put them up. Put all them scriptures up. And when you look at the video and you look at what he's putting up, you're like, man, come on, man. This dude is out. Alright? He ain't even looking at the whole video. So he see his name, he gonna throw it up. As soon as he hears his name, with the two Zion.